I'm no Mr. Rogers, but I sure feel like him right now. <laughs> Taking this coat off. I'm not gonna take my shoes off, obviously, but. Uh, <sighs> Hey everyone, Justin Dark here, JD. Twisted Heart Justin, Mila Love Imp, at my old pond. I wanted to do this little video as like, you know, just a little special edition of my Inside the Memories uh, segment that I have, where I talk about far memories of the past and even more recent memories, I guess, but... I'm over at my parents' house for uh, Christmas and New Year's, and I wanted to, like, reminisce on a time in my life that I don't really talk about that much, because I ha it's a very conflicting time of my life. Not as conflicting as, you know, 2020 where I was, but it still has, like, some good memories. There are a couple of bad ones, but we're going to go over the good ones today, because inside the memories, it's not about negative memories and... You know, how much I hated my childhood. Because even if I didn't like parts of my childhood, there were still some good parts of it. There's at least something there that just made me, like, think fondly of it and just remember it. Like, it wasn't all that bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't all that bad neither. And I do want to go over, like, you know, some memories. So I, mainly I've had of this pond. And I do have a story I'm going to share, too, while I'm doing this, but... Where do I even begin? Today's uh, topic for Inside the Memories is just childhood stuff. Mainly outdoor stuff. Since I am at, at the pond, I may as well talk about stuff I used to do outdoors. Now, as a kid, I think it's pretty clear at this point that as a kid, I was not active whatsoever. I was the fat kid. I was waddling around. He didn't like to exercise. He didn't like to have fun. Outside, at least. He sat in, on his ass playing video games and eating pizza and chocolate bars. That was me as a kid. Obviously, I'm not like that anymore. But as a kid, I wasn't really the most active boy. I, I, I can admit that. But even if I weren't that active, I still did stuff outside on occasion. And I will go over some of the physical activities me and my sister did outside or just me in general. Because... Yeah, I was fat. Yeah, I didn't like to exercise like the average kid should, but I still went outside regardless because some days are nice like this. I mean, it's cold outside, yeah, but I still like going outside. Anyway, so some of the things I did outside, I'm going to tell a brief story about what me and my sister did. Back in, I believe, 2009, 2010... The game, uh, when I was a kid, I had a, an obsession, or I think we did. I think it was just me, though. We had an, I'll just say we. We had an obsession with the uh, Raving Rabbids. Do you guys remember the, that Rayman game? Rayman Raving Rabbids. The game, Rabbids Go Home or something, I believe that was the name of the game. It had just came out for the DS and I believe the Wii. I had the DS version. Me and my sister used to, like kind of like we put bunny ears on we both had a pair of bunny ears so me and her would put on some bunny ears and pretend we were the raving rabbits we were taking my aunt's leaves and putting them in the wagon the wagon acted like the rabbit shopping cart because in that game apparently they're building a pile of junk to get back to the moon or something like that kind of reminds you of the ladder to heaven episode from south park but Back to the story, uh, me and my sister would put on rabbit ears, we'd push around this wagon like it was a shopping cart, and we'd gather leaves and shit. Like, we were pretty much, like, raking leaves at that point, but we were grabbing, like, stuff that was in the yard, and we pretended that we were actually gonna reach the moon. It was really freaking weird, though. <laughs> we were kids, I mean, this is what kids do. They have a wide imagination, and... So me and my sister pretend we were rabbits, we even put on freaking bunny ears, and we... We stack leaves, we, we pretend the little wagon was a shopping cart, and we put leaves in it and stack it into a pile. Really, we were just doing yard work for our aunt with no charge, but it was a weird memory of something we did do outside. And I still remember that time in my life, it was really weird, but I had an obsession with the rabbits back then. I don't like them now, obviously, I mean, I preferred Rayman, the original, over rabbits. Even I'm, not biggest, I'm not the biggest Rayman fan, but... 
still that's one thing about outdoor activities and Another thing I did outdoors a long time ago is uh, there's a boat over there. Obviously, it's not able to be used right now. Uh, but when it was, me and I think my uncle and my grandpa and basically every, you know, person that was like male and like going outside. I think even my dad at one point used that boat when he was still married to my mother. It's freaking cold, man. Ah, damn. Anyway, uh... Back to the story, there's a boat over there. I used to go fishing a long time ago with my Uncle Tim. You know, I've gone fishing with uh, my grandpa, I think, a long time ago. My dad, too. And we used to go on the, the, the lake and we would, you know, fish. We'd mostly catch sunfish and brim. And as a kid, if, that, if we actually caught something, I'd flip out because the fish was like, you know, out of water. And I was scared it was going to fit me. I was always scared of it fitting me and hurting me that's how I was I didn't like fishing because I was freaking out over basically you know when a woman or whatever a housewife see a mouse in their house and they go on the chair like ee, you know like that that's pretty much me when I saw a flipping fish out of water and it looking at me like cause we're gonna kill it and shit that was me I'd flip out fish you know I was I was scared of shit like that nowadays I'm not like that well I'm still scared of snakes but fish I'm not scared of a freaking fish, man. That fish, that fish can go f itself, and it's gonna die anyway. I know that sounds a little sadistic coming from me, but it's true. But and then there was a time where we all on the same dock over there before my uncle built this spot, where there's the tables and shit. It was just that narrow like way. It was just that. But when I was like three years old, maybe four. We were, me and my dad, I think, were fishing on that pot, spot before this was built. He had, like, his pole. He was swinging out there. Dad apparently kept telling me, uh, don't be walking around like that, Justin. Don't be going under that rail. You're going to fall in. Of course, I was three years old. So, like any other three-year-old, I didn't listen. So, I fell in that freaking water. And I literally thought I was drowning. I think I was. I was still a little kid, so I fell in the water. I know it wasn't, it wasn't that deep, but I vaguely remember not being able to get back up. And he had to get me out of that water. It was, and he laughed like, I told you. I'm like, yeah, he was right. He was right. I fell in that water like an idiot, but I was three years old. So what was I supposed to do about it? And that was that. And... He says, maybe that's why I have a lot of dreams about here. Maybe, but it wasn't, like, traumatizing. The dreams were more, like, you know, uh, sentimental. Like, yeah, I remember this spot because it brings back so many childhood memories of what I used to do as a kid, but... Anyway, uh, what else did I do outside as a kid? Obviously, I wouldn't just go outside on my land. I would go to, like, uh... Uh, park. There was a park we'd always like to go to. There were two of them. One of them was closer. One was over in another city, uh, Bozier, which you've seen me uh, years ago, <laughs> airline drive, that shit, but I'm still, you know. There's two parks we like to go to. One of them was in a place called, I think, Southern Hills. Obviously, it's not like that anymore, but as a kid, it was kind of, uh, kind of fun, but I did have the uh, infamous... <laughs> torture device that they put on playgrounds for children if you know what i'm talking about it's that metal slide when you slide down it in the summer your butt is on fire literally it's a metal slide what were they thinking like seriously what kid is gonna enjoy sliding down a slide that literally looks like a freaking uh spoon it's like freaking silverware and shit you slide down that shit in the summer, that shit, oh, it hurts so bad, it burns. I don't understand who made that shit, but whoever they were, they must have had a really weird fascination with burning kids' butts. That would be a weird fetish, but... And it, it, at the same time, whoever made it probably did. But besides that horrible slide, there were, like, swings. There was a, uh, what was that, that little merry-go-round thing that you spin. That was my favorite as a kid. Of course, there was a jungle gym spot, you know, with small slides that aren't metal, and it was a good park as a kid. There was more trees there when I was a kid, though. Obviously, it's not the same as it was as I was a kid, because I did, like, take some stuff out, put some stuff in, and it's just 
sometimes, in fact, a lot of times when they do something new with the playground, it's kind of a downgrade. Even the one at my old elementary school, they actually downgraded it after a while, but it's whatever. I don't go to the playground because I'm an adult now. As a kid, though, I used to eat that shit up like candy. But the other park we would go to is one we just called the Duck Pond. We don't, I don't even remember the name of it. It was just the Duck Pond in Bossier City. That was a better one. The playground was much, much bigger. I believe they had a freaking entire, like, spot that was, like, almost like a like a really good medieval dungeon. It even had, like, a weird lion logo, which I've seen it on things. I have a Halloween costume. It was a medieval cloak that has the same lion logo, but... It also had, like, a pirate ship. It was really good at the time. They even had a spot that had, like, honeycomb platforms. Like, you walk on them, they're, like, honeycombs. It was really cool. It reminded me of Banjo Kazooie a lot. I played that game a lot as a kid, but... And, of course, the thing... The reason it's called the Duck Pond, because, yeah, there were ducks. There was a pond, and there were ducks swimming. And as a kid, before I knew not to feed duck spread, we'd feed a duck spread. And it was, it was definitely a good time going to that park as a kid. It was probably, it was better than the other one I mentioned because I didn't, and they never had that torture device that burns your butts. It was a lot bigger. It was a lot nicer. I'm not sure how it is now. I might drop by there at some point and see how it is. Cause, but knowing, knowing how uh, old Commotion City, which Commotion City is what I call it in my stories. It's based on it at least. Commotion City is based on Bozier anyway. Knowing how they are, they probably did downgrade it just like the rest of them. Because I haven't been there in years. Like, almost a decade. So, no doubt they did. They took out everything and replaced it with some stuff that no kid wants to play on. Because it's just not fun. Or they won't know the difference, but, but I do. Because I have fond memories going to that park. Now, other stuff we did outside. I don't even remember everything that I've done. I used to, I mean, I think at one point, me and my mom and my sister played with, with a frisbee. That was fun. Nowadays, I'd probably do a better job of it. I do remember going to a track that's outside of my old elementary and middle school. That I could do more physically. Like, yeah, I, you know, I'm a track and field guy. I like to run. I like to walk. And But I don't have that many fond memories. I believe my mom was on a weight loss journey, I think, years ago. And I joined her and I just, I couldn't get through that track. It was a one mile going around it. Nowadays, that would be nothing. I've walked a few miles, and I usually don't break a sweat. If I'm going to, if I'm running too fast, though, I will like pant and shit and will sweat. But no need to force myself because I have all day, and you know. But it's good to sweat, though. It's good for your skin and good for you. Sweat out toxins and all that shit. But I think I've talked about enough uh, outdoor activities from my childhood. You know. It's just good to be in this this area of my life again. You see my old videos. You see my like first vlog. I think, like what was it? TDJ ninety eight vlog catching up. That was me last time I. That was last time I came here. Obviously, a lot's changed. I've changed, and some some spots are overgrown now. I have other videos exploring uh, the land, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna post them. If I do, I'm gonna cut out parts because either they show my sister and I, I didn't give she didn't give consent to be seen in the video, and I think there's a spot where I show my aunt's uh, license plate, so I gotta cut that out, obviously. But just in dark signing out. Have a great Christmas day. This is just a me, another inside the memories uh, segment where I just talk about outdoor activities I did as a child and. I have so many fond memories of this place, though. Fishing and drowning. <sighs> what a weird combination, but it was true. I did fall in the water as a kid. Have a great Christmas day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, take care and stay warm, because it's freaking cold, like, everywhere. Like, it's, it's too cold. Alright, see you, everyone.